Welcome to Stupid Movies, where we watch them so you don't have to. And today, are you ever gonna let me do my intro? Well, yeah, but I, I, I you gotta I'm stop. Getting, uh, okay, welcome to Stupid <laughs> Movies. Where are we? Where do I stop at? Right in the middle. Okay. Where we watch them so you don't have to. Oh yeah. We watch them so you don't have to. That's right. And today we watched They Reach. They Reach. 2020. Not rated as far as we know. 87 minutes long. Brought to us by Silas Dahl. Rob, who is in this movie? Well, let's see here. We got Mary Madeline Rowe, Morgan Chandler, Eden Campbell. So this movie, uh, the main character, she goes and picks up. It was a reel-to-reel -reel, uh, tape recorder. R that's what it was. They yes. had recorded a, uh, an exorcism on and the demon got into that. And while they were repairing it, the demon came out and started killing people yes. off. And basically it was, how do they defeat this demon? I'm going to put this out there up front. This was like an 80s era Amblin-esque. Yes. This is the Goonies. This was the Monster Squad. This was and those it. movies. E.T. Yeah. yeah, et. Spielberg could have directed this. So when the tape recorder reached out to us to see our opinion on this movie, what did we like about it? Oh! Hey, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad! Yeah! I like the tone and setting of this. <laughs> it kind of... The, the, uh, 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 yeah, they set it in this time period. It wasn't like they were shoving it in your face all the time. Like, oh, look, it's the 70s! <laughs> and, you know, feel the 70s! It just felt like the 70s without them having to point it out all the time. Yeah. Like, if you were looking in the background and shit like that, the, the set dresser on this movie should get a raise um because everything felt like it was set in yeah, that time period totally everything did so it created a great atmosphere mm -hmm. and it was a consistent atmosphere and then they also the filter that they they used really helped making it feel yeah. like it was from that the, era. the way they shot it yeah was, it was fantastic ooh. it was shot really really well too like the cinematographer on this also oh, deserves a raise they never. did a great job yeah if you had something to do with this movie and you're part of the people that give people raises Reach out to them and do it. The story was really good. I mean, nothing super original. Nothing new to the table, so to speak. But it was good. Yeah. It, I mean, it was, you know, I'm not a big supernatural ghost demon. I was going to say, you enjoyed it. And you're, this isn't your taste. You don't yeah. do demon movies. But the way they did it. It was good. Yeah. It, it was just, uh, I liked it. I, I engaged in it. We like it good. It wasn't slow burn. Like, no. I, I thought it was going to be a slow burn storytelling, but it really wasn't. I no, mean, it, it was, was boom, 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 boom. And pacing was yeah. good. Yeah, and, I'm, and that makes all the difference in this ghostly demon stuff. I really like, there were so many little Easter eggs, posters, and, and just little things that nod back to older horror movies. And I love that. It was cool seeing all these little Easter eggs to other movies. Uh, built into this story. The characters are likable. The, the kids oh. are great. Kids in movies are very hit or miss. I mean, it's like playing baseball. Sometimes you hit and sometimes you strike out. Yeah. Uh, but this one they hit, and all three of the main characters were very likable. Those kids had a challenge. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, not only did they have to act in this movie, as, as you have to do in any movie. That's usually what happens. That's how it works, yeah. Yeah. But they had to act like they were in a time period that happened 40 to 50 years before they were born. They had to act like they were in this time period that they have no connection to at all. I thought they did great with that. Yeah. Um, Cheddar was yeah. fucking phenomenal. Uh... It had some blood and gore, which was awesome, and the makeup effects were really well done, which was a nice surprise to me, because a lot of times with this kind of movie, they they don't really have much of that. Yeah. They're like PG-13, I'm just going to scare these little kids. The people who actually like horror ain't going to like this. I well, and you know, the, the thing is, PG-13 used to be... PG-13 used to be raw. So the fact that this was not rated, uh, yeah. or rated R, if that's what it actually is or whatever, but... Uh, that's good. The music of the score. Whoa. It kind of felt relevant to the time period they were in. It built tension and suspense, and that's always good. I really like all the little details that happen in the movie, and for someone like me who pays attention to those little details and, oh, this room leads to this room leads to yeah. this room, <laughs> I, I appreciated that it was internally consistent and all of those little details actually mattered if right. you paid attention to them. Speaking of being a ghost demon in a movie, you know what they always do? The, 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 uh, everything else, like 
uh, Baba Duke, you know, or uh, all those, you know, Conjuring and Annabelle and bleh. what do they utilize? Jump scares, jump scares. left and right. This ba 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 sheep. Um, I don't know why. It's <laughs> just a uh, boo. <laughs> this one didn't rely on jump scares. Yeah, it had some, but they were very limited and they were, uh, I think, warranted and effective, if I remember correctly. Yes. What did we not like about this movie? I want to go right up front and say I didn't like the ending. Boo! You built this up so much and the ending just felt like you were like, eh, fuck you, we don't want to end that way, so we're going to rewind it and fix it. Yes, there were, there have been some movies that have successfully done that. Yeah. Um, Butterfly Effect was a great example of that. On here, I don't know, it just, it felt like the whole movie meant nothing then. No one learned anything, no one grew. Some people are going to really like this yeah. ending, though. It's not that it was done badly. No, no, it was, it was, it was I mean, done really well. It yeah. was... I can't think of any better way to do what they did. Yeah. I just don't like what they did. It's not like Blockbuster. Don't be kind and rewind. <laughs> you know, damn it. Hey, come on. That was good. Uh, okay. Oh! oh! Some of the lighting was a little too dark. You couldn't see what was going on. Yeah, I like to see things when I'm watching stuff. Yeah. It's like, turn the lights up just a little bit. And I get some of it was, you know, the demons couldn't be in the light and everything. I get that. I get that. Whatever. Yeah. But... The audience needs to see the movie. If we can't see it, we might as well be listening to it as a book on tape. You know, speaking of that, one of my biggest pet peeves in movies are off-screen kills. Pretty much they're all off-screen kills. And I don't like that when they do off-screen kills. What about when the lady's head exploded? Okay, well, most of the kills okay. were off-screen kills. <laughs> I would have liked to have seen more of the demon. To get a better feel for what it was and what it could do. And yeah, because you don't really see it until the until last, really end. You know, and it was cool looking, man. Which, yeah. unlike, you know, these other things where it's just a woman with a drooping mouth or... <laughs> okay, Adam, what? We went back in time. Okay. We met up with Christopher Lloyd. <laughs> Got <mad. Yeah. laughs> Right. Yeah. <laughs> and he said, boys! Oh! Tell me about the future. <laughs> what was this movie about? And, and we explained it to him, and he was like, Did you like it? <laughs> oh, Marty. I liked it a lot. A lot. This was fantastic. It really took me back to the 80s <laughs> Amblin S. Are Sorry. you finished? It, it really took me back to those 80s movies, Amblin S, you know, kid adventure. Um, I think calling this like The Goonies is probably going to be the most appropriate. The yeah. Goonies with more violence. I liked it. The characters were great. I know I said already that I really liked Cheddar, but holy shit! She was phenomenal in this. Yeah, she was very cheesy. She was hilarious. She was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> she was realistic, and I, I just, I absolutely love that character. I would watch a whole movie about her. So I'm giving it an 8 out of 8. I loved it. I highly recommend. I, I've seen a lot of mixed reviews on this, and I don't get it. I highly recommend you go check it out if you're a kid of the 80s. Yeah, I love the uh, the retro vibe. Um, I like the more 80s vibe more so than 70s, but they really nailed it in this one. It felt authentic. Wow. Uh, pulls you in. You know, the, the story is kind of the, you know, your basic uh, summon a demon by mistake kind of thing, but they do it really well. Good acting from the kids. Uh, a cool demon, you know, a quick pace, great atmosphere and everything. So I'm going to go six and a half out of eight on this one. Highly recommend it. Go check it out. After you do, tell us down below what you thought of it. Yeah. And if you have friends that watch it with you, make sure you tell them so they can reach out to us and tell us what they thought about it. Let us know what you thought. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. If you don't, um, they will reach around you. Just do it. And uh, you can visit us over on Facebook.com slash Stupid Movies over on Instagram at Stupid Movies at Dash Kitchener at The Horror Punky. You can also email us at Stupid Movies at Look.com. And that's where we are. Give us a shout and a holler. Support any horror. You'll see you next week. Perfect. Boop, 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 oh, boop. hey. Oh, no. Before we go, grow your pubes out to be like a 70s bush. Take a picture of that and send it to Rob. He already has a collection, surprisingly enough. I don't like shag carpet. Mm. Oh, let's suck that coffee. <laughs>